my day off. Leisha and I are going to do some day shopping today. Good. Who's going to babysit? Christy. We inherited her from She's Rick and Jimmy. She's good, isn't she? She's the best. She's saving our lives. I don't even feel guilty anymore about going to work. And I'm not opposed to you working anymore. Hey, do you want to have lunch today with Leisha and I? You know, I'd love to, but I got a full schedule. Oh, Bye. Oh, do you wait, do you have one second before you go? Mm, yeah. Okay. I want to throw out an idea. Okay, throw. There's a lot of mothers that have small children and babies that work at General Hospital. Now, do you think that Steve Hardy would entertain the idea of opening up a daycare center there? I think it's an interesting idea. Because the thing is, there's a lot of single parents, and they're always scrambling around to get babysitters before they go to work. Do you think he would go for it? Tanya, money's real tight right now. I know, but do you think you could ask him? I'll ask him, yeah. Okay, well, just watch him all day and try to catch him when he's in a good mood, okay? Okay. I'll catch him in a good mood. You have fun with Felicia. Okay. Mm. Mm. I love you. I love you. Bye. Bye. No, thanks, sweetheart. I gotta get down to headquarters, see if they find anything out about Greta Engstrom or microprocessor. Just wish Sean and Tiffany would have held off getting involved with this whole HTI thing. Well, I don't know about HTI, but I met Von Schuller at the club the other day. Seems kind of slick to me. He's a real pro and a wheeler dealer, but he's respected. Really? Yeah, I found that out with the WSB computer, so Sean knows the same thing, which means it's under control. So with HTI, you're worried about? Oh, I think we could narrow it down to Dr. Greta Engstrom. And that microprocessor of hers. Bye, sweetheart. Bye. I tried to get Tony to join us for lunch today, but he was too busy. Oh, we gotta do something about those busy brothers. Yeah. You know, I think it's time for the four of us to get together again. You mean for a small family gathering? Yeah. It's been a long time. I know it has, and I love what? to do that. Mm -hmm. it gives me sort of a warm feeling. Yeah, you know what we should do. We should sit in that side one night of the week where the four of us can just get together. You know, you're right. That's a great idea. Except for the five of us. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I forget about you, the five of us? <laughs> if it's all planned ahead, then the husbands would have to be there. You know, you're right. That's brilliant. You got a gold star for that one. <laughs> oh, I wonder when Christy's going to get here. I want to get to those sales. Oh, I made a list of things that we need. You do? Hey, will you, you remind me that I have to pick up a birthday present for Tony that I ordered? Birthday? Yeah, his birthday's oh, in one right. month. Oh, I shouldn't have mentioned that to you. Okay. Well, that's all right. I'm going to just put it on my shopping list. <laughs> that's Christy. Okay. Oh, Felicia, I am so excited. This is going to be so much fun today. Well, ah, Frisco. So what do you got for me on Greta Ingstrom's lost and found microprocessor? I, uh, put it through the works. The only fingerprints we could make were those of Connie Daniels. That's Ingstrom's assistant. Yeah, everything else was badly smeared. Mm -hmm. Found something else, though. Nice job, Harm. You want me to show you? No, in a minute. I hate these damn answering machines. Sean, it's Frisco. Call me at police headquarters as soon as you can. It's urgent. As long as I'm going back to work, well, we might as well look into a daycare center. So I said to Tony, at least speak to Steve Hardy. I'd love to get involved with the daycare center. But I know I'm not going to be working at the Deuce Club too much longer, and I think it would be a lot of fun. Yeah? Yeah. Well, we'll just wait and see how Tony makes out with Steve. <laughs> Where'd you park? I parked right over there. Oh. I'm across the street over there. Sale! <laughs> the favorite store. I love this store. Do you know I've never been able to afford to go shopping here? I think I can Birthday mm, present. Thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> Take a look. This looks good. If they have that sweater in Frisco's size. Yeah. I wonder what time it is. Oh no, I think we spent too much time at lunch. I really have to get back to the club. But don't you let them stop? Mm, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will go in and take okay. a look. Okay, well, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. I'm mm, have thanks, fun. Lynch. Okay, bye.
God, she's hurt, man. Or is she alive? Did anybody get the license on her? I think I got it. Somebody call an ambulance, the police. I'll do it. Somebody's got to help her. Well, don't, try, don't try to move her. Hello? Hello, yes. Uh, we need the paramedics and the police. Uh, what? Oh, uh, uh, the corner of uh, Harrison and Maine. Yes, a woman's been hit by a hit-and-run driver. Yeah, we, uh, hurry, please. It, 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 she looks like she's been hurt very badly. Hey. Is she oh. alive? How is she? numbers right on the license plate. Anybody else see the car? Yeah, it yeah, looked to me like, like an old uh, European compact. Uh, dirty white, maybe gray. Mm -hmm. No, it's a darker color. Well, like all right, all right, all right. Who yeah. did anybody see the driver at all? Only a glimpse. Looked like a middle-aged man to me. What was the man? I think it. All right. Which direction was the car going when you last saw it? It was going that way. That direction? Yes. That way, no, it didn't stop. How fast was it going? Anybody know how fast it was? About 30? No, it's 40 in the No, it's much. It hit hard. It hit hard. It hit hard. Yes, it did. 50, 20 miles an hour. Tanya? Tanya, help is on the way. To the general hospital just as soon as we can. Don't worry, it's gonna be all right, I promise you. Come on, guys. It's all right, Tony. What's your name? Sure, I'll come with you. No problem. Hey, Jim? Yeah. Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with her to General. Pick me up there, okay? Okay. Okay. It's gonna hurt a little, huh? Harvey discovered was the package that carried the component had been opened twice. Twice? The first time, it was very neatly opened with a razor blade. Then it was retaped in order to simulate the actual factory packing. It's a neat job, too. Anything else? Harvey discovered that the back of the component had been opened twice, each time using a different screwdriver. This piece here? Yeah. Well, how could you tell? We got some magnified photos. Take a look for yourself, Sean. Uh, scratches right here. Next. More? Yeah. Inside here. 
Now, there was strips inside the case, which indicates that something had been fastened inside with packing tape and had obviously been removed. Any idea what it was? Well, only approximate size, three inches by four inches, and considering the space available, I'd say about three inches thick. And fairly heavy. A lot of tape was used. Any uh, fingerprints on any of this? No identifiable fingerprints except for Connie Daniels, Greta Ingstrom's assistant. Have you talked to Dr. Ingstrom about this yet? No, just got a full report, but I will be talking to her. Oh, well, keep me informed, will you? Here you go. Thanks, sir. Hey, Sean. Yeah. You know, you may want to reconsider this deal you're making with HTI. Can't frisk her. It's too late. Sure. He'll talk to this news. Residence. Christy, it's Tony. Uh, is Tony home? Um, no, she's not back yet. She must still be shopping. Oh, okay. Well, listen, when she gets home, would you tell her I've got some good news for her? Okay. How's the baby? Barbara Jean is fine. She's been fed, changed, and bathed, and she's sound asleep, doctor. Great. Listen, when Tanya gets home, tell her that I'll be home soon so she doesn't have to call me back, all right? Okay. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye. Well, perfect timing. Hi, guy. Hey, buddy. Came by to see if I could buy... My brother, a cup of coffee. Yes, you can, but I just got a couple of minutes. Well, that's what Felicia and I were just discussing at Duke's. We don't see enough of each other. She's right. <laughs> now, she talked to Tanya about it, and they've come up with a little solution here. Oh, they have? Yeah. Right. We got to pin down one night a week, just one night, all four of us spend dinner together. Either our place, your place, we go out in the town. If, of course, you can pull yourself away from my niece for one evening. I can't, so cut out the out of town, and we got a deal. <sighs> all right. But, but one can. night a week, OK? Mm -hmm. Dinner. One night. You got it. Dr. So, you know, Jones, report to anymore. emergency stat. Dr. Jones, report to emergency stat. So much for my early evening. See you later. It was hit and run, but it looks pretty bad. More. She lost consciousness again when she was in the Cut ambulance. Cut her clothes. I don't want her to move. Nurse? Yes, doctor. Check her blood type. Give me two units of blood stat. Should be okay? Hey, While well, you're getting it, check on the supply of her type. She may have lost a lot of blood. Yes, Tanya? It's all right. What can I do? Is she going to be all right? Bidget. Put on EKG monitor. Hook up the sound. blood pressure. I want Tony. constant readings. Ready for x-rays. All right, let's move it. Tony, Tony, you want to leave? Tony, think hard, please. You know it's no good for anyone if you go in there. Now, please, Buzz and I will take care of her. Just listen to it, Tony. No. Stay close to me. No, I... Close. Come on. I... I'm right here with you the whole time. It's true. About Tanya? Maybe I should get some coffee or tea or ask what they want to say. 
No, I don't think so. But thank you. It's nice of you and Camille to be here. Don is strong, Tony. Frisco, I'm a doctor. And I can't do anything for my wife. I can't do anything. She knows that you're out here. And that's what she needs from you right now. What? We removed the ruptured spleen. I thought we got the bleeding. There's still an excessive seepage of blood here. Is there anything that hasn't been tied off? More transfusions. I've given her neosinephrine to keep the afterload up, Buzz. Blood pressure is critically low. It's just a weakened state. Surgery can't continue indefinitely. There it is. Upper right quadrant, Patrick. Posterior area of the liver is severely damaged. That's where she's bleeding. Sponge. Damn. The guts keep moving, Doctor. We'll repair the liver as best we can. Just like Vietnam. It's not good, Patrick. It's not good at all. I'll get that thing. Transformers finding. Amy? This is Duke Lavery. I'm trying to find Camellia. Uh, I think she went down to the tenth, uh, the eighth floor, rather, to get her purse. Would you give her uh, a message from me when she gets back? I have to see her right away. Yes. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, by any chance, is Anna there? Yes. Would you please uh, tell her that Tanya Jones has been in a very serious car accident. It's hit and run. And I think that she's going to want to know that. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell her. Thanks. Tell me what? Tanya's been... Tanya's been in an accident. It's hit and run. We've been alerted, Doctor. It's important to maintain the transfusion. Yes, Doctor, we're ready. All right. I'm glad they let Tony in the recovery room. But, uh, how is she? I don't know. I'd like you to stay here for Tony. Anything can happen. Do I need to die? No, we're not even gonna... We're not gonna think that, all right? But we have to think it. Not around Tony, we don't. Keep it inside till later, all right? Please try. I could do anything for them. Okay. Well, I'll need to. I'll need it. Here they come. Everybody's taking good care of you in the 
worst is over, okay? Very soon, you can come with me and BJ and we'll play in the park. There's going to be life all around us. together and we're gonna have those family dinners together Risco told me about it once a week It's not good, and Frisco and Felicia thought it would be good if you could be here. What happened? Tanya's been in a very bad accident. Tanya? That's right. She was hit by a hit-and-run driver. How is she? We thought that Tony's friend should be here, if possible. She's 
getting weaker. Tony doesn't feel like he's a doctor now. Because that's his wife there. He's just denying it all. I just wish I could get my hands on that hit and run driver. Because I'm not much of a cop right now. It's all right, I understand. I stopped by headquarters on the way here. Sam's covering the case. Now the witness who wrote down the number. The license plate got it wrong. But I left word that Sam should contact either one of us if she gets another lead, okay? Fix some coffee and sandwiches.
came by as soon as I had. How's Tony? I'm worried about him. When we came home, he didn't even ask about the baby. I'm just kidding. I would suggest that we just sort of leave him be for the time being. She made the babysitter. She wouldn't take any money. You should get him to talk for a scare. He needs to get it off his chest. He needs to talk, whatever he wants to say. Hello. Frisco, it's Sam. They said you'd be there. Can you talk? If you get something to report, Sam, I want to know right now. We ran the license number the witness gave us and checked out the closest number, but it was no go. It turns out the car was a new model American make, and the owners were with friends and had been in all evening. No damage to the car either. What about the witnesses? The stories vary, and I mean a lot. The general feeling is that the car was an old foreign compact, dirty white, maybe gray. What else? We know the car has a broken headlight, and from the skid marks, we know the tires were retreads. All right, alert all the body shops and junkyards. The driver keeps the car, he has to fix the headlight. Uh, also have the patrol cars keep their eyes open for any abandoned cars fitting the general description. Two of the witnesses said the driver was male between 20 and 35, Caucasian. Add that to the bulletin. Hang on. Can I make this top priority? No. Absolutely, of course. I'll swear that it's top priority. We'll do, Frisco. I'm gonna go now. This is uh, time for family. Be here. Frisco, if you need any time off. I'd like to find out this to my family. If there's anything I can do, you just let me know. We know. Thank you. Bye, honey. Tony? Coffee? He knows any of us are here. Listen, it's the baby. She's probably hungry. It's time for a bottle. I'll fix it. Excuse me, I'm going up to the baby. Wait. Bring the baby down here. All right. If she doesn't need change, I'll be right back. If he can, I'll do it. I, I just don't want him to, uh, to have to face more than this than he needs to. Yeah. Yeah, I can't get out of my head. What? Well, I keep putting myself in his place. Uh, yeah. 
kind of found myself doing the same thing. I mean, uh, I love Bobby. I couldn't do without her. She's a part of my life. She's like breathing. I feel the same about my wife. It's a good thing breathing is involuntary. Tanya was... special. I know. My brother's special to me, too. He's always... I can't reach him, Jake. I don't think anybody can right now. For but Tony's time. always been there for me. Always. Whenever I've needed him. And I want to be able to do the same. I think he just can't fathom the idea of being without Tanya. Something. What happened to Tanya? Hit and run accident. Oh, my. How is she? We lost her. What? We did everything we could. And I don't know a lot of good it did. Oh, no. Come on, Patrick. No. <laughs> Tanya was my friend. I let Tony down. No, you didn't. No, Patrick, you didn't let him down. Come on. You're a doctor. You can do your best to, to save lives. The best you can do. You're not a god. You don't, you don't make miracles. You can't blame yourself, Patrick. We have got to figure out a way to help Tony get through today. <clears throat> Seeing the way he spent the rest of the night must have been real rough. Just about broke my heart watching him just sitting there holding Barbara Jean. He never stopped. He just kept holding her. Practically all night, he just kept looking at her and just kept holding her. Tried to talk to him, but he just couldn't get through. Spent the night in a chair in our room. It's like you got your hands full. Where's the dish towel? Tony, no, I'm fine. I'm used to it. No, you wash, I'll dry, I'll make some coffee, some toast. I don't need anything, Tony. Except detergent. Where do you keep it? I'll ask Tanya. I'll get it. Oh, I'll get it. Um, I just took with Driver Jean and she's asleep. Oh, okay, thanks. Hi. Hello, Tony. How you doing? Good. Well, Steve couldn't get away this morning, but he will be in touch. He's very concerned about you. Now, is there anything we can do? No, no, I'm fine, thank you. I've taken care of your schedule, so you needn't concern yourself about that. And Tony, if there is anything we can do, please let us know. Okay? Maybe I could uh, send over a student nurse to help with Barbara Jean. No, Barbara's fine. 
I'll get it. Oh, Tony, I can get it. See, that's all right. I got it. Hello? Is Tanya Jones there? Uh, no, she's not here. Uh, I'm a former patient of Tanya's. She gave me her home okay. phone number and made me promise to call her with a progress report. Will you tell her that Harriet Molino called and is doing wonderfully, thanks to her patience and help? Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy to hear the news. I'll make sure she gets the message. Oh, hey, Tony. Listen, maybe you ought to let us field these calls if they come in, all right? No, I'm used to it. Tanya always gave out her number when she discharged a patient because she cared a lot about them and she wanted to follow their progress. It's okay. Well, I don't think that he... No, don't even tell me about it. I mean, I see what's going on. He's in complete denial. It's like he's, a, he's on automatic pilot or something. What can we do? I'm going to try to talk to him. He's always been there when I needed him. He's always had a way with words with me. What are you going to say? I have no idea. that this was one of Tanya's favorite things. It was her mother's from her old country. Really? Yeah. It's beautiful. Wild, isn't it? True blue. <clears throat> Just like Tanya. She was the greatest, Tony, you know. She was the best sister-in-law anyone could ever ask for. And Felicia and I, we're gonna miss her. Yeah. She was so real, always was in touch with her feelings, and you always knew where you stood with Tanya. You know, she made, uh, she made Felicia and me promise to take care of you and PJ. Yeah, I knew I could count on you, that's for sure. Now, Tony, starting right now. I know, I said I'm fine. Tony, Tony, I want to help you accept what's happened. I don't feel as though it's hit you, not really, not yet. So don't worry about me, okay? I know that it's tough to face the reality of this, Tony. But it's all happened so fast. It's got to be like a bad dream. I don't mean to sound harsh or be rough. But, you know, the sooner you face what's happened and talk about it, the easier it's going to be. You're a good brother, you know that? Where are you going? I'm going to take a shower, shave. I'll be down in a minute. Regina kicked all of her covers off. Did you get through to Tony? I don't think I knew which button to push, actually. Well, you gotta keep on trying. I think we all should. Tony will come around eventually. Was I wrong? I said the sooner you accept what happens, the better. Was I wrong? I would have said the same thing. I've been trying to find Terry, and I don't know where she is. She doesn't know anything about Tanya yet. Do you have any idea where she is? Okay, thank you for thinking about her. Okay. Hi, Felicia. I've been trying to get a hold of you. What's up? Uh, nothing new. Sorry. Well, what's the hang-up? Well, we've got too many conflicting descriptions of the hit-and-run car. So much for multiple eyewitnesses. Yeah, well, we've got all the body shops in the garages alerted. What about the state police? They've got the word. We've got an APB out in New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Pennsylvania. They'll be looking for any cars, any suspects matching the descriptions that we have. Well, keep on it, will you, Sam? It's my top priority, believe me. Listen, I'd be out there with you today, but I, I want to stay with Tony. I know. 
I'll uh, touch base with you later on. Thanks. Is Tony all right, Jack? Oh. Yeah, he should be down soon. It's a pretty long shower and shave. So, you think there's going to be enough room for my stuff in there? Are you kidding me? I have put away all of my stuff, and there are four empty tours left. Let me tell you something. Our entire supply of pots and pans went into one <laughs> cupboard. <laughs> this is wonderful. I love this rattling around in this big old house. What are we going to do with all this space? I mean, we were living in a shoebox. I know. Well, I figured maybe I'd go buy a couple dozen pairs of shoes. Baby shoes. Mm -hmm. Barbara Jean's feet were growing too fast for us to buy more than two pairs at a time. Well, they are, but I just figured I would stockpile her brothers and sisters. When do you want to start? Well, anytime you're ready. I love you. Oh, Tony. Barbara is perfect. I would love to have a little Tony running around the house. I'm so happy with you. I almost feel guilty of being this happy. Well, don't feel guilty. We had our share of problems. And we have earned the right to be the happiest couple in the whole world. Tony? Yeah, Barbara? 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 Uh, we were just getting ready to sit down to some deli food that Claudia and Brian brought. Thought maybe you'd want to join us? Yeah, I'll be down in a minute. If you'd rather, I could bring something up on a tray. I don't want to push you. No, I don't need any special treatment. That's good. a patient of Monica's, but you go. I'll call Bobby and tell her that you're on your way. Tom, Tony Jones. It's very nice to meet you, Tom. I just regret it has to be under these circumstances. Very sorry about your wife. Thank you very much. You want some coffee? Please. Listen, you're going to have to make your own sandwich here. Well, that's no problem. Does anybody need anything else? I think we're going to need one more pot of coffee okay. here. Okay. okay. Excuse me, Doctor. Hi, I'm Frisco Jones, <laughs> Tony's brother. Listen, Tony's been like this all day, and it really scares me. Sort of a perfect host, you know? And I don't really know what to do about it. Could you help me out? Tony? Tony? Oh, I am so sorry. No, it's okay. I feel so awful. Amy, honey, we could really use some help in the kitchen. Do you mind? Oh, of course. So what is this? What did you bring? Oh, that's the bag that Tanya was carrying when she got hit. The ambulance driver wanted me to bring it home. Oh, okay. I'll get it. Here. Well, why don't you just let me take it? Oh, that's okay. I'll get it. You know that shopping bag? What about it? Tanya was supposed to buy a special birthday present for Tony. It's his birthday next month, and if that's what's in the bag... Then he's gonna open it. And if he opens up the bag and sees a birthday present, he's gonna fall apart. I gotta stop. Wait, wait, let me, let me try to handle this. Yeah, good, Tom.
hope you don't think your wife is... Your wife is... has a big ego, but I'm going to take that chance. This present is for you to keep in your office so that you can have the two women who love you the most in the whole world close by you. will continue in a moment. Forever. Your wife was absolutely right. You will have Tanya forever. She'll always be with you, you know? Yeah, <clears throat> I guess I better get down to my guests. Oh, they're doing all right. I'm mostly worried about you. Did they send you up here? Hardly. I'm a perfect stranger to you. And I wouldn't blame you if you're wondering what the hell I was doing butting my nose in. You know, I'm sorry I never knew Tanya. From what I'm hearing, she was something. Yeah, she was very special. Speech therapist, huh? The best. Her patients were crazy about her, and I should know that, because I was one of them. Oh, you were? Yeah. Is that how you two met? No, we were uh, married before I... You're not going to leave me hanging, are you? It's a long story. Okay. It's... Okay. I got shot. And I was paralyzed from the waist down. And I didn't have the ability to speak. And, uh, you know, probably if, if Tanya hadn't given me some encouragement, I would have probably ended it all right there. But she taught me to speak among other things. That's quite a story. <laughs> That's not all of it. When we were married, first married, we wanted a baby. And we, we lost it in a miscarriage. But that's why we were so happy when Barbara Jean came along. She's beautiful. She yeah. looks like Tanya. Yeah, she does. I know exactly what Tanya was thinking about, too. You know, she loved to plan things. She, uh... I remember that she wanted us to, to buy the Weber's house, and we thought we were going to do that. And then in, in five years, I was supposed to be uh, head of neurosurgery. And Barbara Jean, she would have been in priest. She will be in preschool. And then we were going to have this baby, another baby. Tanya called it little Tony. What am I talking about? Tanya, you. But there's no point in it. There's no point to all these, these things. That's not true. You'll never lose Tanya. She'll always be alive in your mind. Don't try to lose those memories. But I'm afraid to hold on. Why? I don't. I don't know. It would mean accepting your death, is that it? What's well, all right, accept it. Then you can deal with what has to be done, the arrangements that have to be made, all of that. You know. Details. You're saying goodbye that way. You'll still have those memories of Tanya. Nobody can take those away from you. <laughs> 